Governor Gavin Newsom responded swiftly to the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade, signing a new bill to protect abortion rights here in California. And now California organizations like Planned Parenthood are preparing for an influx of patients from nearby states. KTLA Shelby Nelson is live in Redlands with more. Shelby. Yeah, Sheriff Pedro, no matter what led up to this, there was still that element of shock among so many people we talked to today, including a leader from Planned Parenthood. She says, imagine what would have happened had that information not been leaked and we would have just been blindsided by that decision. Now, as you're seeing rallies across Southern California, including right here in the Inland Empire in Ontario, Victorville, and then there's one planned for 6 o'clock here in Redlands at City Hall, where I'm told nearly 1,000 people are expected. incredibly disappointed. I understand the variances that can happen, but I think it should be left up to the state. It's pretty devastating. It's definitely going backwards. Anger, frustration, and even relief. The difference of opinions runs deep over a decision marking a major turning point across the country. The U.S. Supreme Court overturning the 1973 Roe v. Wade decision and giving states the power to ban abortion if they so choose. We're here to stand tall and to meet this moment head on. Governor Gavin Newsom joined by state leaders staunchly affirming California's stance as a sanctuary state. I want to take this moment and sign legislation uh, to push back against those Republican state legislators and governors that seek to move forward with civil actions against people that wish to travel to the state of California seeking their reproductive rights and reproductive freedoms. The governor calling it a dark day in America and banding with other West Coast governors in Washington and Oregon to continue to provide access to reproductive health care for California residents and women coming from other states. The decision to overturn Roe v. Wade uh, by the Supreme Court has opened the floodgates for 26 different states to either restrict abortion or outright ban abortion. Nicole Ramirez of Planned Parenthood in Orange and San Bernardino County says after last September when the Texas Heartbeat Act took effect, which banned abortion after the detection of a fetal heartbeat, out-of-state abortions increased by 400 percent. Now they're bracing for an even greater influx of patients from states that impose stringent abortion laws or ban it altogether. Because Arizona has a 15-week ban currently and could potentially outright ban abortion, we anticipate people will be driving in from Arizona into California to get that care. Now again, another rally is scheduled for here in Redlands at 6 o'clock. We don't see many people out just yet, but still got about an hour left. Now you heard from Nicole Ramirez with Planned Parenthood. She says that they are actually planning on implement, implementing and building another health care center in San Bernardino County because it borders Arizona. It'll be easier for those out-of-state women to come into California. And coming up a little bit later on at 6, I'm speaking with two, men, two women, very big differences of opinion. One woman comes from a different generation. She says that she agrees with the decision. The other is an OBGYN. She says this is a major setback.